We're Jerry and Diana. It's the 4th of July weekend. We took the Edmonds-Kingston Ferry to Olympic National Forest on the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State. We camped at the heart of the hills campsite and slept in the back of our Ford Ranger. There was some conflict. Uh, that annoyed him, offended him. But we made it to Hurricane Ridge. You won't believe how beautiful it is. quality breakfast one eats when getting up in the morning and leaving. Hey, those are the number one finger hats in America. The number one finger hats in America. I think olives might have a problem with this. They might think they're the number one finger hats. They don't even advertise it as finger hats. These guys step out. They're bold. I do not eat wheat. However, these are made from corn. So this is what I am eating for breakfast this morning, trying to get out the door. We made it onto the ferry just in time. I should have been filming. It was such an adventure. She was awesome, but I didn't understand what was happening. I thought I'd miss the ferry. Traveling with an old man. That was definitely a solid old man moment. It I was. Didn't, I didn't know what was happening what around time me. Was, what time was our ferry? 8.50. What time were we at the ticket? 8.50 maybe? 8.49 maybe, 849. 8.50, right in there. Done. So Jerry's fumbling around. She's like, no cash, Your credit card. Give me a credit card. Give me a credit, like, card. credit card only? She's like, I'm trying to get you out of here on the ferry. Uh, oh. Here you go. He was so was clueless. Completely lost. And what we just drove was... right on. We were some of the last people to make this ferry, yeah. and we just drove straight on and did not miss it. And didn't have to wait. stopped on a drawbridge. Yeah, everybody started getting out of their cars. Right? The first steps is oh, juicy. Terrible. Right. So apparently, <laughs> we got subject to some Midwest culture. Met some very nice ladies and talked to them while we were waiting for the bridge to go down. We had just barely made it onto the ferry and then we wait here. Jerry got the stairs. Yay! Jerry's out of the cooler. Rainiers. I need a spit cup. I need a spit cup. <laughs> See? Rainiers. Aren't they beautiful? It's a really pretty chair. I that's going to the bed. The metal. It's my tailgate tabletop. The mattress is a free futon mattress I got off of Craigslist. <laughs> I had to take the whole futon. And then there's a inch and a half of memory foam. 
the, the futon's not quite, it's in between an actual queen and a double bed. And then the bed of the truck's six feet, so I had to cut the futon mattress down. And it has a case, so it just fits in a case. So then I laid the inch and a half memory foam topper on there, cut it to size. But yesterday in the garage, because I would like to have it all set up and ready to go, but I had to haul firewood because I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to collect firewood here. Which yeah. I, I think you can because we're below 3,500 feet in the park, but I wasn't sure. I just like, I have firewood. I wanted to be able to slide it in on top of the bed platform. So I rolled it up like a giant burrito and it's held together with ratchet straps, but it's fully made. Maybe interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to go. didn't explode or anything like a can of snakes. Oh, mosquito. <laughs> huh? How'd you make the curtains, honey? Fabric at the fabric store. Cut them to size, staple them. And they've, this is what, second year of camping with them? Yep. Lindsay cords are the curtain rod. And you put one at the top and one at the bottom. Well, on the sides, you want to tuck the curtains yep. through the window. So it's, I bought it and was like, oh, okay, that should work. And then I get there, it's like, it just barely covers. Barely. Barely. So do you have drawers under here, Jerry? No, I don't have drawers yet. Just containers and push everything in. Yeah, it's got bins that fit pretty good. What's that? One of those little solar generator lithium battery things. We'll be able to keep the charge. Yep. There's the stove, the pot and the dishes. All the things for washing up. And that's the drink cooler. All the dry goods. Food we brought. Buttons on top. And there's a container of wood in our campsite. First we've got this gentleman who apparently runs his generator all the time. So we're just gonna get used to a little noise. It's nothing when you're older and hard of hearing. We're starting to find this side. Tree over here. It's a giant tree right here. Let me show you how big this tree is. Big tree, very big tree. Hot dogs. Got some sweet relish. Next our neighbor running his generator, which really wasn't bothering me that much. Like I was just kind of ignoring it, just fine. But then he turned it off. It got so quiet. I was happy. And I wasn't trying to be annoying. I just like, yeah. Hey, stop. <laughs> anyway, evidently he heard it. Uh, that annoyed him, offended him. I didn't know it at the time. And then when he went to leave, he stopped at our campsite and yelled, have a nice day, passive aggressive. <laughs> I can't really be that mad because it was just slightly passive aggressive, I guess. We're having lunch just arrived and just got set up on gluten-free bread with baked chips. So I'm doing a little history check and it looks like the Olympic National Park became a park in 1897. The Olympic Forest Reserve by President Grover Cleveland. In 1909, Teddy Roosevelt designated it a part of the Mount Olympus National Monument 1937, Franklin Roosevelt visited it, and the following year he signed the act designating Olympic National Park. Quite so happy. They're really happy. Like the dude's wagon. Not a care in the world, huh? No. No, these guys.
I've seen a lot of deer in my life, and I've seen deer when they didn't see you, but I've never seen deer so freaking relaxed, chilling, like it's it's spa day, tails yeah. a wagon. They're happy. Happy, looking up once in a while, yeah, you're still there, and I'm still eating, and I don't care. Nope. One of the challenges of traveling with me is that I really, really wanted to see the deer that we just saw on Hurricane Ridge. And so I went up one of the steeper trails because I was so excited to see the deer and I didn't make it at all. <laughs> my arthritis hurt and my stomach ache hurt. You got up on a hill. <laughs> and my asthma hurt. <laughs> So we're stuck behind construction and I've got a stomach ache and so I kind of want to go into town and get some Tums. I didn't bring any with me because my ones at home are super expired and tasted kind of blah. I actually thought about bringing them and I was like, uh, we're not, we're what, 15 minutes from town? I was like, oh, I'll just pick them up. Yeah, if there's not a construction zone right at the gate to our camp. My problem here? There we go. It's not focusing. Got my Tums and Terry got stopped by another ranger owner. Now, some traditional camping food. <laughs> taco time of the Northwest, which is to be differentiated from the other taco time, which is not as good. And even though it looks like it's branded the same, it's something completely different. You see the side of this bag. All this greasy food is yours, isn't it? Or is it mine? Mine? Oh yeah, they serve uh, tater tots. They call them Mexi fries. And then I wanted to show this bag. It's got Washington State on it. Thing of beauty. 